Take one. Come on! I wanted it to fall. Okay. There's a man on a scooter. That's tight. Welcome back to Driving with Lauren. Or you've never seen it. All right. Cool. My car is currently crushed by a palm tree. I went to Coachella and there was a really bad windstorm and I woke up the next morning and my car looked like it had been totaled by another car, but it was a palm tree. So right now I'm driving a rental car. Before I got my new car, one of the main things I needed was Bluetooth because I love talking to people when I'm driving. I'm an extroverted person. I need people to validate my human existence. If no one's talking to me, I feel like sh I need to be the center of attention. I need people to tell me that they love me. I was about to say JK, but like, I'm not kidding. So this car also has Bluetooth, which I'm really stoked about. So I figured why not call some of my friends and see what they're up to today. I'm sorry, but if you haven't noticed, it's a green light. Does that person not have a blinker? Do they not know the courtesy of the road is to stick their hand out? All right, guys, first call. Let's see if Jen McAllister's my real friend. Oh, it's been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Two, Are you six, kidding? Seven. Blur out the number. Blur out the number. At the tone, please record your message. Hey Jen, it's me, your best friend Lauren. I just wanted to call and see how you were feeling today and just, you know, gauge on a scale of one to 10 where your mood is at, where your health is at and just really be there for you as a friend. And I thought that you felt the same way because I thought you'd pick up the phone, but I guess we're not friends anymore. All right, let's call my second best friend. Who am I calling? You'll never know. Your call has been Thank you! Yes? Hi, Meredith. Well. What are you doing? Not much. Where are, you, where are you? Work. Are you in the car behind me? Yes. God dang it! For a second I thought maybe she was actually at work. <laughs> All right, let's call someone else. Oh, this is gonna be good. Check this out. These people have to answer. Awesome, nice to me. Hi, Karina, it's Lauren Elizabeth. Hi, I'm Lauren. How are you, baby girl? I'm so good. How are you? I'm so happy. I'm great, baby girl. Um, I was calling for Byron Ashley's office. Okay, sweetie. Hold on, mama. Thank you. We've reached Byron Ashley at Big Frame. Please leave a message. I'll record your message. Are you f***ing kidding me? Or stay on the line for further options. Byron, Ashley, this is your client, Lauren Elizabeth, and the fact that no one in your whole office just answered the phone for your favorite client ever is disgraceful. Disgraceful, I tell you. I'm gonna get a very wordy text message. Why is no one answering? Hello. Hello. Are you getting a wiener call? What the hell? Who told you that? Maris, but she accidentally said like wiener regret or something. Are you fucking kidding me? That has the audacity to go and talk shit about me? You're ridiculous, Emily. All right, bye, Emily. Love you, bye. I just hang up on people. I don't even let them say bye. Do you see how long it takes to get anywhere in this freaking town? We've been on the same street basically this whole episode. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice. No one likes me. No one likes me. Awesome, TV. Karina, it's Lauren Elizabeth again. Hi, baby. Um, is there any way to connect me to Top 5 Live? Is there someone in particular? Or just Hunter. Oh, hold on, honey. He's not available right ah! now. Quick. Literally, I have no one in here besides my mom, Awesomeness TV, my valet, my assistant, my apartment, and Meredith. I have no friends. When in doubt, call Grammy. Hello? Grammy! What? What are you doing? I'm actually getting ready to cook dinner. Yay! What? Yay! What are you cooking for dinner? Some veal chops and a sweet potato. Oh, that sounds awful. Guess what I made yesterday for lunch? What? Your recipe for avocado toast. Yes, bitch! Yes! I had avocado toast, but I didn't have the toast. I used, I left it in the bowl, and then I, I uh, cut up uh, romaine lettuce. I had uh, <laughs> heirloom tomato and cucumber. So and you didn't make my recipe at all. <laughs> Essentially, you just used an avocado. I'm um, in the car right now, and I've, I've called every single one of my friends, which like obviously isn't a lot, but no one answered. I was like the last time. 
You weren't the last choice. You were the first choice. I just picked you last. Oh, yeah, right. Grammy, I gotta go. Someone's calling me. I'll call you back. Hello? God damn it, it's Walgreens Pharmacy. I can't believe I just hung up on my grandma for Walgreens Pharmacy, but my prescription is ready, which is also good news. Hello? Yeah? What are you doing? Um, I'm at work. You called me. I did indeed, because I'm your sister, and that is something we do. We call each other. Um, I was just calling to, um, just see how you're doing today. Are you, is this real? <laughs> what do you mean, is this real? Of course it's real. Why do I feel like I'm like... Being taped though, because you, you sound funny. Um, I've had an awful day. My car got keyed. Did I tell you that? Where did your car get keyed? I went to Dunkin' Donuts. Literally 90 seconds, because I have a refill cup, so I just handed it to them. They refilled it. You have a refill cup. cup at Dunkin' Donuts? Well, I thought they had really good donuts, and then everyone today has been yelling at me about how Dunkin' Donuts doesn't have good donuts. Did you have a good day? It sounds like you had a good day. Uh, I'm shooting. <laughs> I'm shooting. <laughs> driving with Lauren right now, and this is the episode where I call people and. Apparently I have no friends because no one answered besides Grammy. See, I knew I was on the phone with more than just you. Alright, well I gotta go wrap up this episode. I'll TTYL you. Alright guys, well as you can tell, if you ever are considering ditching your family for something, don't because at the end of the day, they're the only people that are gonna be there for you. Family over everything. Shout out to my family for being the only people that answered my calls. And then my second family awesomeness TV. Wow, this is turning into a really sentimental episode. Holy sh**. Holy sh**. Everything in my life makes sense now. Awesomeness TV is my second family, and my real family is my first family. Oh my god, this guy's yelling at me like as if he doesn't know I'm trying to wrap up a segment. I'm gonna go now because I have low battery on my phone. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Driving with Lauren. Let me know in the comments below what you want me to do in the car next because there's only so much you can do in a car, but I'm willing to risk it for the biscuit. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get you to get those little thumbs and put them up. Put them up, put them up. That's not a song. All right, guys, I'm swerving in, swerving in, swerving out. Bye. Get the f out! Just kidding, kind of.